He is an absolute horse. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, look at the ink. Look at that for a whiting. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're out here on the kayak, obviously, and it is gonna be a picturesque morning this morning. My plan for today is something which I haven't done in over a year. We're actually gonna be targeting some King George whiting. You guys have wanted to see me target whiting, but they're not my favorite species to target, but they're definitely my favorite eating fish. So hopefully today we'll be able to get a few nice models, a few nice fish, and just locate some fish in a new area. I've actually never fished this spot, but it looked really nice on Google Earth, so we're gonna give it a go. Right now, we're actually coming over a perfect bottom. So there's a lot of scattered weed beds, and there's actually a massive, massive sand patch in front of me here. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get onto some bigger fish today. That's the whole plan. You never know with whiting. Sometimes we're a bit finicky, and I don't target them very often, so I'm definitely not an expert. What I'm doing at the moment is just defrosting some of our baits. So we're gonna be using some squid today, some freshly frozen squid, and we also have some little mussel pippy type things which we're also going to be using. So we have two different options for bait today. What I might do is quickly find a spot, drop the anchor, and then start burlying up. One key to whiting fishing is burly, so I think we might try just along this shallow edge first of all in the sand, and then we'll go from there. We might have to move around a few times to find these fish today, but I'm pretty confident we might be able to catch a couple in the end. All right. We'll try right here. I kind of want to get a bait out straight away just to see if there's any fish in this area. First up this morning, we're going to be running two rods with circle hooks. And I reckon we'll just cut a little bit of squid tentacle off first of all and get a bait out. Start to get some pallets out. These are just barely pallets, very, very simple and basic. All I'm doing is casting them up current. Well, not casting them, I'm throwing them up current and they're gonna wash back down along the sandbanks and hopefully attract fish to us. So we're using little circle hooks. These are actually Reedy's Rigs Paternoster for whiting. Tinganoster, I'm pretty sure they're called, and all we're doing is tipping that with a little bit of squid candle. So that's my favorite part of the squid to use for whiting. So we're just gonna cast that back in our burly trail which we've already created, and hopefully, with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to catch some whiting. On the next one, we're gonna use a little bit of a cocktail. So we've got a pippy type thing, and also a little bit of squid candle dangling off the end. This one will cast up onto the sand a little bit more. So we'll cast this one out along there. Man, the whiting just aren't playing game at the moment. I don't even think we've had a bite from a whiting yet. So we'll do a few more moves, but we might have to change plans. What I'm gonna do at our next spot is get a squid float out. And also doing that will allow us to get some fresh baits to target whiting a little bit better as well. We'll be able to catch some fresh squid and then just use that straight away to catch whiting. But we'll go for another move. Um. I think that float is under, see that? It's just partially under, it's not completely under, but I think we've got a squid on before we've got a whiting. Yeah, we do. We've got a squid on there. We are not even going for squid, and yet we've got one. This will be fresh bait though, so this is actually really, really good. We just have a float out just in case, and of course we get one, of course. There we go, we got him. The perfect bait size squid. That is gonna be fresh baits. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, look at the ink. <laughs> oh man, of course we get a squid. Why wouldn't we? It's all we can catch, I think. A squid is the only thing that I think I can catch. Let's get a quick little look at him. He's not a bad squid at all, just a nice medium one. But that's so funny, that's always how it goes. <laughs> that's actually really good. He's gonna be some beautiful, beautiful whiting baits. We'll cut him up into little strips. So those are dynamite baits. We'll just put him out of his misery and he's out. Oh, that's a good fish. That just hit the water. That was the fresh candle. That literally just hit the water. Is that going to be a whiting? Be a whiting. It's staying a bit deeper. It's a big whiting. A huge whiting. Huge whiting. Yes. He's a beast. There we go. We got one. Dude, as if. That was the fresh squid candle. As soon as that hit the water, 
That thing just screamed off. There's a big whiting too. Yes. Man, that took a long time. What do I tell you guys? Fresh baits are key. And I'll tell you what, as soon as that fresh squid candle hit the water, look at that, it went screaming off. Probably in the water for, I don't know, 15 seconds and bang. That's a 40 centimeter whiting every day of the week. That's a good fish. That tells me that these fish have been here the whole time, but our baits just haven't been up to the standard of what they want. That's a quality, quality whiting too. It was just out there. Man, I was about to move as well. That just goes to show you. So what we're gonna do is switch over straight away, get another piece of squid candle out and cast that in roughly the same area yet again. If there's a few there, hopefully they'll find some more of our baits. We'll be able to get a couple. There we go, there we go. As soon as that hit the water, we've got another one on. Hopefully that's a whiting as well. He's just cruising in, so I think it is a whiting. Yeah, that's gonna be a whiting too. Another good one. Man, we found a few. Yep. Oh, look at that. He's putting up a cracking fight. We might just try to lift him in. Look at that. Big whiting. That is the second one on the fresh squid. It is just so, so important to have fresh baits. No matter if you're targeting snapper, whiting, mulloway, even squid, fresh baits make such a difference. They're just so important. Bang, yet again on that squid candle. We found a bait which they're eating. First thing I always do, if I'm gonna keep a fish, is put it out of its misery. So I'm just braining this whiting. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours. We've really had to work to try and find these fish, but we found some. I can't stress how important fresh baits are, no matter what you're fishing for. Just helps so much. Get that straight back out in the same spot again. Oh, they had one as well. Oh, there it goes, oh, there it goes. Another one. Yes, how good is this? We have found a school of whiting, and that is another big one. These are all quality, quality fish as well. They're not small fish. They're all very good size. Tell you what, that is a heavy fish. This is gonna be another big whiting. Once again, on the squid candle. That is the only bait they're eating at the moment. I wonder if they just moved in, or if it is the case of fresh bait, because, oh, I really do think fresh baits make a difference, and I think that's why we're starting to get them now. This is gonna be a big fish. Oh, might have to get the net out. Might get the net for this one. That is a huge whiting, everyone. He is an absolute horse. Look at that. When they're that big, you use the net. He is a slapper. He is an absolute slapper. <laughs> Look at that for a whiting. Are you kidding me? That thing's got to be 45... I don't know, look at that. That's just an absolute mammoth. Man, they're loving the fresh squid. It just makes such a difference. He's a big fish. He's a very big fish. So far, all of these fish have been on the same bait as well. Just the squid candles. We haven't even switched them over yet. Oh, we've got something on this. Got a big wrasse on this one. Look at that, huge leather jacket. That's why we weren't getting any bites on this one. Look at the leather jacket on here. Look how pretty that fish is. That's a big leather jacket. Leather jackets are actually really good eating as well, but we've already got a few nice eating fish, so we won't bother keeping him. Whoa. Whoa. That just hit the bottom. We're gonna lose this rig. That's probably why the whiting's not biting too. Man, how was that stingray? He took so much line. We're lucky he just broke off in the end and we still got our rig back. All right, everyone, I'm gonna head in. That is gonna do for today's session. So we didn't get any squid on that massive drift, which we just did, which is pretty unfortunate, but I think everywhere has been pretty hammered today. But I'm still glad that we got onto some whiting and the ones which we did get onto were very good size. I'm pretty sure the biggest one was like 45 centimeters. So a very quality fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.